the elderberry are finally about to bloom some are already in bloom I'll show you those the ones that are in bloom I would go ahead and record this because not too often that you get to see this on the same plant there's elderberry blooms getting ready to well really it kind of starts with like this they start out like that then they go to this then they go to this where you get a mixture of blooms and the parts that are starting then they go to this which is fully bloomed <laughs> And then they go to this after they're bloomed and pollinated and turn into berries. Probably this week I'm going to have to get out here and get these elderberries harvested. Because the race is on between me and the birds. And uh, it's been kind of a crazy year. Probably gonna have to get that done this week it looks like they seem to be picking them off about as quick as they ripen you can actually tell that a lot of them aren't fully ripe yet you can see the green with the purple green berries with the purple but you can tell these over here which were just as thick as those the birds are getting and uh, I don't normally cover my elderberries because to be honest with you generally what I'm able to harvest off of these is sufficient for me I try to make an elderberry jam every year I've got a video up on that already I believe I'll link to and uh, that's pretty much about all that I make from elderberry is elderberry jam every now and then I'll make juice but it's mostly just jam for me so uh, anyways the nice thing about elderberry it's relatively easy to grow um, even when the deer get into it, you can kind of see some damage here from the deer. It'll still thrive. Um, if you wanted to plant more elderberry, all you literally have to do is find like a limb before it gets this reddish color. So it's still going to be green. Let me see if I can find one. If you get a limb that is mostly green like this, before it starts getting woody so you want relatively new growth but before it starts getting green or before it starts turning red all you have to do is cut it off and stick it in the ground <laughs> it'll literally grow <laughs> they're probably one of the easiest plants to grow from cuttings um, so you can start with one elderberry and your second year you could have 20 off of that one plant because they're just so easy to start now I haven't actually been, while I've had cancer, I haven't actually been uh, cutting these back to do that with. But I am going to do that soon because I've done it in the past. It's just, you know, the last two or three years I haven't really done it. But uh, we'll get started on next year. Like this right here would be a good candidate right there. You can kind of see that it's not turning red yet. Still pretty pliable. You could literally just cut that off there. Cut it off there on those two forks, cut each fork off, and plant those in the ground and they'll grow next year. Uh, anyways, just wanted to follow up with this and uh, show you what's going on with the elderberries. God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.